welcome to the hillcountrycook.com. Now I'm cooking chick split chicken breasts um, that we got from slowfoodfarm.com. Jennifer Huff was here this morning showing us how to cut and quarter piece and debone chickens, and I'm showing you all the different ways to cook them. Um, so you can check out her website, slowfoodfarm.com, to get the chickens, and then my website, thehillcountrycook.com, to get the chick to cook the chickens. Um, so this recipe is really cool. It's a guaranteed way to get crispy, crispy chicken. And the secret is all about either using a panini pan like this, which is a really cool wedding present I got. It has a very heavy cast iron lid. If you don't have one of these, what I always used to use was just um, some kind of cast iron skillet, whatever kind of saute skillet you have, and then I would put another cast iron skillet on top of it to weigh the chicken down and it, it just heats it up and makes it crispy and still moist and delicious. It's actually an Italian way of cooking. Um, and if you don't have another cast iron skillet, you could use a brick. In Mexico, they use a brick covered in foil to do the same thing. Covered in foil, no germs. It's fine. A little dirt, no, but it never hurt nobody. So in the bowl, I have all of my split chicken breasts, um, which uh, you want to go ahead and kind of flatten down a little bit if they're not already flattened. And I'm just going to put a couple tablespoons of olive oil on that and then squeeze the juice of one lemon or two if you like it really lemony. And then you can use whatever herbs you like. I have, uh, what do I have? Rosemary and sage and a little bit of thyme from a friend's garden and a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat the chicken. You can really use whatever herbs you like. So we'll do that, and then the salt and pepper, kosher salt, makes the flavors come out more. Always shake the salt in your hand before. Okay, so I've got my panini pan set up. You can use the cast iron pot with a brick, a cast iron pot with another cast iron pot, whatever. I've put a couple tablespoons of olive oil on there to make sure it's non-stick, and I'm leaving the lid on there right now so that the lid is heating up. And then I'm just going to place the chicken breast or halves on there and a little wing and you just leave the lid on and that's it. You're going to cook it for about 15 to 16 minutes per side on medium low to medium. Kind of watch it. Flip it over 15 minutes on the other side. Make sure and measure it and make sure that it's 180 degrees on the thickest part of the meat. And if it's not, which sometimes it happens, go ahead and stick it in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 11 minutes just to raise that temperature back up and make sure it's thick. Okay, so the last batch I was cooking, but I went ahead and finished these up. A couple of them I did throw in the oven for a couple more minutes, some of the thicker pieces. So I'm going to cut this and see how this is so moist, too. Mm. Y'all are going to love this. It's so moist, but the skin is still so crispy. And y'all can see how beautiful golden brown it gets. Lots of pepper, lemon juice, rosemary. I love it. It's excellent. So this is your quartered chicken. And the next video I'm going to show you is fried chicken and the picnic chicken. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hillcountrycook.com and slowfoodfarm.com. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.